In this video, I'm going to show you how to create completion actions within Pardot. Well, right off the bat, uh, completion actions actually show up in multiple places within the Pardot system. There isn't just one specific type of automation that is a completion action. So I'm going to talk about where they show up in a few different places. But most common, when people think of completion action, they think of form fills. So if you go in under content and under forms or form handlers, we can edit one of these marketing assets here and then edit their completion actions. So before I click the edit button here, you know, we're in forms, we're looking at this website, contact us form. If you scroll down, you can see it has its own completion actions. Uh, in this case, it's just going to notify a user. It's going to notify me whenever somebody fills out that form. So to edit those completion actions, just edit the asset, edit the form, and go to step four here, completion actions. And then at the bottom of the page, here's where you can change what's been set up or you can add additional actions as needed. Just click the button to add a new completion action. And then you can choose from this nice long list of different things you can do every single time somebody fills out this form. And so that's that's the thing about completion actions. The trigger, they get triggered by some action, by a, uh, a prospect, and they tend to fire every single time. Now there's some limitations there, sometimes there's a cool down period, that sort of thing. Uh, but it's quite different from creating an automation rule, different than a completion action, uh, because by default, it's not gonna fire every time. Now there's different settings we can change to, to change that, but Essentially, think of a completion action, right? Once an event occurs, uh, some activity has happened on that prospect record, you know, then go ahead and, and fire whatever these actions are. Uh, so we're not gonna add anything else to the completion actions for this form. We'll just hit confirm and save. Now let's talk a little bit about where else completion actions show up. So under automations, we have page actions. And so page actions are a kind of completion action that get fired when a prospect visits a specific URL on your website. So you can see uh, with a page action, you'll choose that URL, but then once we get to the completion action area, it's just like a form fill. Only in this case, instead of them having to submit that form, all they had to do was visit a URL. In this case, we're adding a tag and we're also removing a tag uh, whenever someone visits this order received uh, URL. Another place they show up is when you send a list email. So when you send a list email, uh, you have the option to take some action when they either open the email, they click a link in the email, or they unsubscribe. So we go to Pardot email drafts and then take a look at our list email draft here. You can hit the button that says edit completion actions. It'll take you right to that area and here's where they are. So, you know, different from a form or a page action, you actually have a couple, you know, three choices here about what's going to trigger that automation an open, a click or an unsubscribe. Uh, but then once you, you know, check the box next to the one that you want, it's the same kind of interface. You choose the basic type of action you want and you can also add uh, multiple uh, in a given area. So that's a quick overview of completion actions. I uh, hope it helps, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.